Hello everyone, so DaVinci Resolve absolutely demolished all Premiere versions in one test, but that was mainly because I went a bit overboard with the noising. Once I removed the noise, Premiere caught up, probably due to Resolve having its built-in denoise option, which Premiere doesn't have. But later on Resolve won after all after rendering a music video. But let's start from the top. My PC specs are on the screen right now, pause the video, 3, 2, 1. Alright, I started off in Premiere CC17. I made a sequence exactly one minute long. The sequence is a mix of some shots from my GH5 taken at best quality in 4K UHD 10 bit at 400 megabits per second in Vlog L, some slow motion shots taken in Full HD 8 bit and 100 megabits per second and 100 frames per second. Then I have some 4K UHD 10 bit D Log M shots from my DJI Mavic 2 Pro, which I transcoded from H265 to DNX HR HQX. And finally, I have one shot from Red Helium 8K sensor. A nice mix of everything. All the shots in the whole project is on an SSD to eliminate any possible bottlenecks. I've also done some wave audio tracks for good measure. The timeline is 1080p and all the 4K clips were scaled down to fit the frame, except for the Helium 8K1 which was left at 100% scale. I then did some light color grading and applied some denoise and renoise effects. As for the color grading, I firstly applied the appropriate Log2Rec 709 conversion LUTs for the shots that needed them. For the Mavic shots, I applied my custom teal and orange LUT, which I can adjust to my liking, and did some basic primary corrections and secondary corrections on all shots. I didn't want to use any third-party plugins for color grading because I wanted the grade to be done purely with the controls Premiere offers, and because I wanted to be more fair since DaVinci has built-in grading tools as well. I then denoised the Vlog L shots and added some noise to the Mavic shots. For denoising I've used Red Giant's Denoiser 3 plugin and for applying some extra noise I used Renoise also from Red Giant. I then simply closed the project in Premiere 17 and opened it in 18 and 19 and had my project ready to render. As for Resolve, I've exported the XML of the timeline. I graded the shots by looking at the scopes and I made sure to match them from the shots from Premiere. I've used the same log to rec 709 LUTs and my custom teal and orange LUT and I've used the noise and renoise effects on the same shots like in Premiere. I've used Red Giant's Renoiser, but for the denoising I've used the built-in noise reduction because Denoiser 3 isn't available for Resolve. As for the export settings, I was exporting to an SSD and I've got the constant bitrate of 50 megabits per second in every software. Everything was exported in H.264 MP4 in 1080p. This was my first test and here are the results. As you can see, the clear winner is DaVinci Resolve 15, probably due to its great optimization when using CUDA cores from my GTX 1080 and by having the built-in noise reduction tool, which we will confirm in the next test. As you can see, Premiere really isn't using neither the GPU or the CPU to the full potential. At some points in the render, only one CPU thread is being used. A really poor optimization in general. For the second test, I removed all the denoise effects and re-rendered everything. Here the results are almost the same across the board, and Premiere 19 takes the win, rendering the project faster by few seconds compared to Resolve. And for the final test, I switched it up a bit. A sequence of 1 minute was a bit too short and I've noticed that all software struggles most with 4K clips taken in 400 megabits per second with my GH5, the second most heavy clips being the ones from the Mavic 2 Pro. So I imported the music video I'm currently working on. It was filmed at 4K 400 megabits per second and I've set the timeline to 4K UHD Cinemascope. I've done a single pass of color grading with an adjustment layer. Nothing too complicated, a bit of primary corrections, my teal and orange lot and some further adjustments. I've done the same thing and opened the project in the other Premiere versions and I've sent an XML to resolve and graded a timeline to be exactly the same like in Premiere, with same LUTs and the same order of nodes. I didn't use any denoising or renoising this time around. And here we can see that in this sort of a real world test, Resolve takes the victory after all, rendering the whole music video almost twice as fast. Again, this is probably due to its great optimization and use of CUDA cores. So there you go, in big projects it seems that Resolve will always be faster, especially if you're planning on implementing some effects and want to denoise your footage. If you're interested in any other comparison, feel free to leave a suggestion below. If you like this video, make sure to smash like and destroy that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and goodbye.